And so after the crash, the housing crash in 2008, there was an uh, effort to reform the banking sector. There were some things that were done through the Dodd-Frank financial reform, but they never went back to just separating out those two pieces and making it boring again, the way that it was boring and stable, the way that it was. And so to me, I understand the response of crypto and looking at this and being like, this system is fucked. We need to just like do our own thing. Like this, it's corrupt. It's disgusting. I totally get that. But I think the only answer to it is to have better reforms of the existing system to make it like safe and less corrupt and not have this wild speculation that can create these bubbles that just like, you know, destroy the entire economy and people's livelihoods. Is that feasible? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, that's what they would say. They're like, look, the system is corrupt. It's if if if, if two thousand and eight happens and we have Dodd Frank and the system doesn't get fixed, like, what are we supposed to do? I actually get that. Uh, I don't know. I'm really of two minds of it. On the one hand, like, I deeply sympathize with the individualism of like, look, we're going to take it into our own hands, boys. Nobody's coming to save us. Like, this is all we got. There are a lot of preppers actually who bought Bitcoin or sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars because they bought in very early. So, shout out to those guys. On the other, look, at the end of the day, systems can. And change if enough people actually want to do something about it. Yeah, we've talked a lot about the stock market ban. I think that's actually probably step one. Uh, if we get to the point where we can just ban members of Congress from trading stocks, the institutional trust I think that we could all then have within the system, at just at a baseline level, it would help a lot. It would help a lot to be able to get that. But of course, Nancy Pelosi is the speaker. She first she says, "What was it? Wait, so we live in a free market economy. We're allowed to turn, uh, participate." I she think we should that be able to participate. <laughs> well, when she said that, yeah, like she's... pushed the microphone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walked off the stage. Your Nancy like, Pelosi is, that impression good. is that pretty good. good. <laughs> that was wild. When she just walked yeah. off the stage, I'm like that is wild. I mean, she's not the only one though. I mean, there's some. The, it's a completely bipartisan issue. Oh yeah. Uh, and a lot of these guys, uh, and you know, they'll claim they're like, "Look, I don't have any inside information." I'm like, "Look, motherfucker, you're guilty. Uh, like, it, you got to prove you know, that you're innocent." It yeah. honestly, I mean, whether the, listen, they do, yeah. and like obviously, they yeah, these yeah, are not obviously. geniuses, yeah. and they're all like beating the market and beating people who are expert at this and whatever. George Soros and Warren Buffett are not as good as Paul Pelosi. Oh wow, he's yeah. better. He's better at trading. He's, he's just an you amazing see the Google trader. Tra- trade just the to other day, with. right well, before the antitrust yes. suit was filed, it sold like three million dollars. And yeah. once again, you're just never going to convince me that you didn't know about that. He like knew, you're just not going they to. Knew, yeah, but she right. knew. Okay, they let's knew. let's theoretically say, all right, we believe it. Like they didn't use their inside information. It almost doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't because ultimately the bottom line is. People fucking think that you use your information and, you know, are benefiting from it. And by yeah. the way, when you look overall, like you could look at any individual trade and be like, oh, maybe, maybe mm-hmm. not. Who knows? But when you look at the numbers overall and you're like, all you motherfuckers are beating the market. No right. fucking How is it possible? Way. Unusual. And if you not look at the actual yeah. speculation, the, the, the actual the trades. sales yes. and trades. Yeah. Yeah, they they fucking know. It's they outrageous. know something. And they're not doing anything about it. Un- unusual Whales, shout out to him. He's really the, one of the guys who sparked this whole movement. Who is Unusual Whales? He's like an uh, anonymous Twitter account, and he's oh. the, one of the first people who actually Independent published. Independent journalist type. Yeah, mm. He published the Twitter. first trading. Uh, this was like 2021, uh, whenever, maybe t- 2020, actually. We're the, some of the first people who actually picked it up originally about the congressional trading numbers. And we went through the exact Senate, and he loops it all together as an institution and the way that it was able to beat the market consistently year after year after and this is all publicly available there data shout out to him yeah. he's a great dude yeah definitely um, give him a follow he, he's yeah. really uh, he does really good work and, and, uh, and yeah, it's you can lot. actually see it all right there the full trading report on politicians in 2022 and again totally bipartisan yeah with Debbie Wasserman Schultz Patrick Fallon Susie Lee David Joyce Gary Peters all look at the blue and the red there all within the graph and you can even see like look it's uh it's everybody like from all across the board people who are supposedly against the system people who are totally within the system and that's what makes it so disgusting okay, we have to got to ban this like 19.8 percent. what does right. that mean down. well that she was down down, down. percent oh. well and that's the other thing with paul pelosi the guy is extraordinarily leveraged like he's always trading options he's not even just buying and selling individual stocks he's making much larger bets on these things i mean he's got a hundred million dollars in access to shit 
you and I don't have. But Boy, the, Debbie, w- Debbie Wasserman Schultz at the top yeah, there. Yeah, she's good. Doing what, well. Nice little Patrick portfolio Fallon, I don't even Look know who that, that is. 51% <laughs> on a year over year for in nothing, 2022, nothing which is here. crazy. I mean, if you compare that to the S&P 500, I'd actually be curious or what the 2022 S&P. Yeah, there you go. So eight S&P 500 is down 18%. Look at every single one of these individual members who are able to have portfolios, which are beating the total market. This is outrageous. Pelosi's off her wow. game, though. Yeah, Look at she's that. actually off her game. Yeah. It sounds like they threw um, just because everybody was on their shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking threw but look at, <laughs> look at the red and blue. Exactly. Look at, it's, uh, it's bipartisan. Yeah. 100%. Completely. And the 100%. top is red. Mm-hmm. Well, this is, and this is like a story of like hope and it's very depressing because there was a whole grassroots movement to be like bipartisan. You know, the Republicans were pissed off about Pelosi and Democrats were pissed off about the Republicans. Like everyone was like, all right, this is fucked up, right? Any thinking person who cares about the country would be like, this is fucked up. Why are we doing this? And so then because there's this organic movement, you see actually some people in the mainstream press start to cover it. There was actually a reporter at Insider. They started digging into the details of these trades and compiling reports. That leads to that, when you're talking about Nancy Pelosi at that press conference, that leads to her actually getting asked a question about it. And wasn't it incredibly revealing, her response in that moment? That leads to a backlash. Kevin McCarthy sees an opportunity with Republicans about to take it. He starts posturing like, oh, if Republicans take the House, we're going to do the stock ban. Of course, they haven't said shit about that since then. Pelosi actually feels some pressure like, all right, we're going to do we're going to try a thing. And they sort of like poison pill that to make sure it doesn't happen, too. And that's where the, you know, it's a mixed bag because you're like, all right, we got it on the menu. There was a lot of pressure. Politicians heard it. They had to do something. But then both parties, again, found ways to just completely, you know, let the issue slide and not actually have to change anything. That is an independent media story, though, because that's one of those where that guy published it. We started talking. This is not just us. This is a lot of people. Dave Portnoy. There's a lot of other people out there who've talked about it. A lot of independent media. People like you have also brought it up. That kind of put it in the cultural pop culture conversation. You got TikTokers out there doing Pelosi trades like they have huge accounts where Gen Z and millennials are totally bought into how corrupt the system is. That floats up word with the outrage insider picks it up and president biden actually originally had a line in the state of the union just last year mm. where he was going to endorse a congressional stock rating ban the line was pulled at the very last minute Whoa. The line was of all the, the things you know you listen yeah. to their state of the union yeah. it's like a laundry list care. of check it check in the box on every fucking yeah. thing 25 that, check boxes no and that's the line ban. that's the line that gets pulled gets amazing cut. right at whose request that's a great question i would love for somebody in the press to dig into that and you know biden <laughs> yeah. to his credit when he was a senator, he actually had a personal role for himself. He did not engage in this. He did not buy and sell stock. So he would actually have a place yeah. of moral authority to say, like, let's not do this anymore. But yeah. somebody got to him. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's a real corruption story. Dirty yeah. 